Hey guys, welcome to welcome back. Now I know it is mock season right now and there will be more mocks after Christmas and there's just exams all the time because you know we're deep into the academic year. So I've decided to make a video on how to plan out your revision uh, on paper and digitally and I'll try and make it tailored to as many types of subjects as possible. You make your kind of study timetable or like assignment timetable based off like, you know, whether you do essay based courses, science based courses, art based courses, the digital forms and paper forms. So part of this video will be explaining how to maybe organize your files organize your notes and how to just genuinely stay organized and organize your revision resources for exams and things like that i hope you guys do enjoy if you do find this useful please like comment and subscribe follow me on all of my social media so i can be rich and famous so you should start off by organizing your revision is organizing your surroundings your notes your files and everything i feel like being organized puts you in a right mind frame to study and this is me to sponsor today's video pdf element by wondershare pdf element is available on apple android mac and windows i use my ipad for pdf element convert between different types of files so let's say if you wanted to convert from a pdf to a png or you wanted to convert from a pdf to windows document so you can edit on microsoft also upload and connect to dropbox and google drive icloud and microsoft OneDrive. box a wi-fi sharing option so you can share between different types of devices you can share between an iphone and a windows laptop or a windows pc also mark on different pdfs so for example if let's say you wanted to do a past paper digitally uh, you can use your Apple Pencil and you can mark on the text digitally so I can answer exam questions digitally on this or swap the order of pages and you can sign let's say if you wanted to sign a document you have handwritten notes like on paper you can scan them and save them digitally once you have saved your notes and you've organized them into files what you can also do is take the notes and if you find that their order is wrong you can reorder them as well so there's a way you can do that which i'll show on the screen here and that's another useful tool that pdf element has so i guess there's less clutter and it's just i guess more organization and if, for example if you wanted to do like any last minute reading of anything you wanted to read something on the bus and you didn't want to take your textbook with you that is quite convenient and on top of that you, if you want to save them you can also annotate those notes and you can highlight over them and just pick out any key areas you want to focus on any essay feedback from like my oxnet essays uh, that i did previously uh, i can highlight over it annotate over it which i found quite useful if you want to kind of merge things that are similar together you can take two separate pdfs and merge them together as well you can scan a textbook if you don't want to write over it or highlight over a textbook it could, let's say you are borrowing a textbook from school and you don't want to write over it uh, you can scan this textbook uh using the camera and it will and you can crop and edit it slightly and the highlights you can annotate and you have that digitally saved on your phone which is quite a useful feature it's digital storage less clutter and paper so it's quite useful you know other notes you can organize them into separate files depending on the way you've organized them so what i've done is i've done like chemistry notes for module three and each module separately then i've if i ever need to scan my chemistry textbook and i want it on the go i can have a special folder for chemistry textbook scans and then I've also got a separate folder for my maths homework and I've also got one for my further maths textbooks because I only have further maths textbooks. So if I ever need to do that, I will have that there. I have kind of saved my textbook as a PDF onto PDF drive because I have access, I have textbooks. So I've saved it on um, PDF drive. And then from that, I can actually edit and answer questions on the textbook. So I found that pretty useful. This is free to download on the App Store. The links will all be in the description box. Uh, since the world is moving towards being digital, I think we should all give this a shot. And it's a great app to use. As soon as you hear that there are any mocks, start planning early. List of everything you need to get done. So this is my mock revision list. Reason being is you do not genuinely want to leave things last minute. Because like I said, a last minute revision, I mean an all nighter is really physical physically draining mentally draining and it's you're gonna forget the information and we're in the middle of the year you're gonna need this information towards the end of the year if you don't care that's fine i'm just saying that if you want to plan your revision i would say start a few weeks or maybe a couple one or two months in advance because you can do little by little each day or every couple of days and when it gets to like a week or a couple of days before the exam you're quite prepared and you just need to do last minute touch-ups there are multiple ways you can plan obviously based on like your circadian rhythm and how you wake up and and try your best to be realistic and if obviously you're slightly off schedule it doesn't really matter as a person i am experimenting with different ways for some people if you want to plan your day minute by minute feel free to do that it works for some people when you work best in the day 
for me as a person i prefer to work in the late morning early afternoon that's just what works best for me you want to work out okay which topics am i weaker at and be honest and realistic with yourself and i feel like the best place to start is your weaknesses like because you're gonna have the most motivation at the start and i feel like starting where you know starting with that topic in maths that you don't like integration uh, by substitution you don't like that topic start with that topic and make sure you need it because if you've got the most motivation at the start let's just do what you find hard would say is if you're planning digital the best way to start is going on pinterest what i do is usually um look at like, aesthetic digital planners and there are a lot of pages on pinterest which have like planners that you can download for free and use them i usually like to plan day by day typically and i will show you guys what i've done here and i'll put it on the screen either plan day by day or you can plan week by week so there are different templates you can use but honestly like go on pinterest and follow a lot of these journaling like planner pages on pinterest a lot of them have like free things on their websites you can use what i liked about this template is the fact that you can have a special side space of infinite possibility and i feel like having a vision board or a dream board uh, obviously made doing it digital is a lot faster than doing it on paper because you don't have to like print anything out if you want to use pdf element to add any images you can go and take your pdf i've used my to-do list and you can i use the adding image tool and you can add that and i like to have that as a for source of motivation while i work or anything like that it's just there for you to look at so i feel like having a vision board or something that like you can look forward to i guess gives you some motivation to work and i find that really useful nice pictures of pinterest and it's uh, something i find quite useful bullet journals those like dotted papers you can just write a to-do list and make it look as pretty as possible but you can go on like pinterest and download it from pinterest or you can go on google images and download some and then i took mine onto pdf drive and um, i made a list here which i'll show here and i kind of just did my like to do list because you can use the pen tool and write on it and uh, write over it and then obviously as you go along you can tick them rub out and alter things whereas on the paper it's a bit more difficult but this is kind of my uh, planning template and i really like it in a daily way so for me i usually like the daily one tell myself you can do it like there's an option to do it, i guess time bound you can revise um at particular time intervals i guess like work around your day and see when your when your optimum revision time is and when you revise best so i probably planned my day i said like i want to wake up have my breakfast and do my maths homework that's a priority because i need to get that done and that is due in before my exam so let me do my maths homework the most important thing but it's more urgent so i would put that in first and then i wanted to obviously plan to like revise a, a topic i say i'm revising amino acids and chirality i will pl plan that for my as part of my revision and i will bear in mind how long that takes for me to go through a chemistry booklet from class it takes me around 30 to one, 30 minutes to an hour that's how long it takes me so i can go through amino acids and amides in an hour so i will do that then i will plan around how much obviously work school work i can get done in that day and consider uh, do i have any family gatherings do i have a date with a friend do i have anything planned for that day i work around that I like work around your schedule oh do i have lessons that morning yes i do so let me work around that and revise around my lessons work around the schedule that works for you so you can plan your day either minute by minute like you know at 12 30 i want to be doing xyz be realistic about how much you can get done in one day because to be frankly honest i can put six different tasks and revision down and i don't consider how long these things take so you need to consider how long a certain thing takes and put okay i want to do i want to go through this booklet do my homework and i want to do a couple of sets of practice questions from the textbook that is a realistic amount of work you can get done and have time set in the day for your self-care i find that really important i feel like it just reduces the chances of burnout you also have to prioritize yourself because at the end of the day we're all people um, we don't live to study like a lot of people will agree with me this when you finish your gcse's you're gonna be like then what that's why i made a video back then so things you can do between your gcse's and your a levels because you are a person and you don't live to study you are a person with emotions with needs with wants and interests outside of school so please acknowledge that and you're not a robot designed to study so make sure you do dedicate things time to do things that you enjoy nighttime revision i personally wouldn't do i think that past like eight nine o'clock or to, like get ready for bed but if you work best then so it's up to you for me i wouldn't revise at night time unless i absolutely needed to like i don't think i remember the last time i ever pulled an all-nighter i don't think i 
ever will do uh maybe at university but a level i don't think i'll ever do that i don't think i ever need to do that if i'm organized so you can either plan time or just to do's but be realistic cut your day from monday to friday that's obviously when you have school what do i have do i have any homework or let's say i have i don't know an english literature essay due in on thursday and miss wants to mark it make sure you got that side i've got my homework on matrices due in on friday which is what i actually have um i do have a, ma a matrices homework due in on friday uh, i need to bear that in mind do i have any exams coming up and i have a matrices exam coming up on friday as well so i have that in mind so is that um so that's something i want to work towards revising for but also i also have mocks in january on everything so i will also bear that in mind <coughs> having done that what do i need to prioritize this week and what do i have enough time for um obviously consider the fact that i have lessons at certain times i'll put my lessons in that timetable and then in my freeze what do i want to revise and being realistic can i revise in all my freeze do i have anything to do do i need to be home do i have any obligations bear that in mind do i want to put any day in the week towards rest obviously having planned your week around that to set reminders like i need to do xyz measuring progress in your subjects what i'm doing for example like looking at chemistry now how confident do i feel in the topics we're studying currently is there any like form of revision i need to go uh, any form of revision that i need to do any form of consolidation i need to bear that in mind obviously set time around doing that so looking at this schedule here i want to fill this in and I want to put my lessons wherever they're meant to be. And then my freeze, I can designate certain periods of the day looking at when I can revise for them. Can I revise after school? Do I need to revise before school? Do I need to revise at lunch times in my freeze? Whatever works for you. Once you've kind of planned your week out, realistic, like don't sit down and be like, okay, right, I have a three hour free and I'm going to revise every single minute of those three hours. You are likely not. You're probably going to want to get some lunch. You're probably going to want to have a break. You're going to have a chat with your friends. Let's say you're going to revise two hours to an hour and a half in your free. So then you may want to do more at home, depending on how confident you feel and how much progress you've made. Don't make it very time bound. Like I have to do two hours of work, like kind of focus on the progress you've done. And one piece of advice I'm going to give when it comes to like planning a day, don't focus on finishing the task focus on making the most progress with the task so let's say i said i wanted to do integration uh the integration topic let's say i wanted to do integration by substitution by parts and i wanted to do um other things if i feel like i've studied for quite a while but i don't feel like i've made that much progress with integration by substitution i'm not gonna say i finished integration by substitution i'm gonna be like okay let me alter my timetable slightly and be like okay i want to do integration by substitution again until i get it that's more important than be like i finished integration by substitution i'm gonna go on to revising amino acids no you need to be like i'm confident in this topic and then move on i feel like don't move on until you're happy with your level of confidence that is one thing i definitely regret doing in the first year is just like focusing on finishing and saying i've revised so much try and focus on building your confidence and making progress as opposed to finishing so yeah and then once you plan your week try and plan your weekends for me as a person what i like to do is i do my homework on the weekends uh, so I can I have the week to revise oh I know that my maths homework takes a very long time to do chemistry um not as much so I maths and further maths we have the homework combined and then um for chemistry we'll just get set wherever our teacher sells so I know that the I dedicate a Saturday or a Sunday towards doing it for example I also tutor as well uh, on the weekends be realistic with how much you can get done in the weekend just because you're not in school all day does not mean you're going to spend six hours of revision six hours of revision is not efficient at all and it's not effective either way because you're definitely not going to be efficiently revising for six hours there's no way reflecting on your revision session and telling myself okay do i want to do this again do how confident do i feel on a scale of one to five and i think like reflection is really good giving yourself constant feedback and telling yourself how can i get better it's just uh it's a really good way to measure your progress and it's always progress over perfection can be quite useful for anyone doing um, assignment based subjects essay based subjects and constant like coursework deadlines things like that so maybe do your to-do list in the form of urgent not urgent and important and not important so if you have let's say constant assignments essays due in at certain times you can even apply this if you're going to university uh, assignments uh, deadlines essays i feel like having uh, doing your to-do list right writing it down as a list and then telling yourself okay which one is kind of due in earlier than the other one and then which one's more important so that i can focus my attention on that one first and then that one and then that one so it's just unimportant you don't want to do that one first 
important but not urgent so i guess maybe push that one slightly back but if it's not very important but it's urgent like you need to do i guess it's a uh, early deadline you want to make focus on that one uh if it's not important and not urgent you want to push that one back a bit i guess it helps you uh, prioritize certain tasks uh and that is another way of revising i guess split splitting your tasks into quadrants if you want to be basic you can just do what i like to do and this to be honest, I'm just really basic when it comes to paper planning. I like to paper and digitally plan. I just like to experiment. So I'm in an experimenting phase right now. So this is the last way of ever planning your day. You can simply do a to-do list like this. I like to have a key at the top and that says AM and the pink one says PM. The blue one says AM and the pink one says PM. And I can say to myself roughly throughout the day, I want to get this done and this done and this done before the afternoon. So I just set a to-do list and being realistic as well, considering how long certain things take and other obligations I have around the house or obligations I have like meeting people or my family or just personal things. Consider that around your revision and other things you do throughout the day. Hope you guys have found this useful. I'll put all the links to PDF element in the description box down below if you're interested in downloading it. There are a lot of free features to use. I hope anyone who is doing any exams or has any deadlines or any essays due in, the best of luck and um anyone who even just wants to get their life organized i guess as a business or anything like that i hope this does help you guys in any way shape or form i'll see you guys soon and follow all of my social media so i can be rich and famous i haven't said that in a long time in a video i wish you guys the best and i'll see you guys soon